All right, folks, today we're diving into the fire element in Chinese medicine, home to the endocrine system and those midline organs, the pituitary, thyroid, heart, small intestine, adrenal glands, uterus, ovaries, and testicles. There are a lot of emotions that go with this group of organs. Here are just some of them. Feeling lost, vulnerable, abandoned, deserted, frightfully overjoyed, profoundly deep unrequited love, absent-mindedness, muddled instability, emotional instability, non-thinking, non-emotive, or feeling checked out, paranoid, vivid dreaming, inappropriate laughter, depleted, suppressed, insecure, up and down, and even the emotion of can't figure it out. See, I told you it was a lot. But it makes sense, right? Think about it. These aren't just random connections. All humans get what you mean when you say you're brokenhearted. It's universal. Nobody says they're feeling broken livered after a breakup with their sweetheart. See what I did there? Sweetheart. And the endocrine system. Lord have mercy. If you've been through puberty, menopause, or menopause, then you know hormones can turn life into a full on emotional roller coaster. And while the endocrine system takes you on that emotional roller coaster, let's not forget the small intestine which might seem like the odd one out of this lineup. Now, the small intestine might seem like the odd duck here, but it's actually a very intimate organ. Why? Because it's where the magic happens. The stomach breaks things down, but nothing gets absorbed into your body until it hits the small intestine. Think about it. Your body is basically one weird shaped tube. Input at one end, output at the other. In the middle, the small intestine decides what stays and what goes. It's the ultimate gatekeeper for what we take in, literally and metaphorically. And that wraps up our whirlwind journey through the fire element and the five elements of Chinese medicine as seen through the lens of NET. If you found this series helpful, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment. Let me know in the comments which emotion resonated with you the most or if you're curious about how this connects to your own health. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.